Hi everyone and welcome to Smart Alex Coaching. In our previous videos, we looked at how to find the prime factorization of numbers using a factor tree. And from that, we looked at how to find the highest common factor of a set of numbers given its prime factorization. So in this video, we're going to extend that onto how to find the lowest common multiple of a set of numbers using its prime factorization. Suppose we would like to find the lowest common multiple of 15 and 18. One way is for us to list out all the multiples of 15 and the multiples of 18, and then to compare those two lists to find the common multiples. So from here, we can see that 90 is common, and so is 180. And in fact, as we continue writing out all the multiples, we'll find that the common multiples will keep on recurring infinitely. But because our aim is to find the lowest common multiple, we see that 90 is the lowest value. And so 90 is the LCM of 15 and 18. Now this method can get quite tedious and inefficient as the numbers get larger. And this is where prime factorization comes in. Prime factorization allows us a way to find the LCM of a set of numbers more efficiently. Let's look at how to find the LCM of 15 and 18 using its prime factorization. We begin by factorizing 15 and 18 using a factor tree. So 15 can be broken down into 3 times 5, 18 can be broken down into 2 times 9, and 9 can be broken down further into 3 times 3. So 15 is equal to 3 times 5, 18 is equal to 2 times 3 times 3. Now, unlike finding the HCF where we only take the common factors, what we do here is we need to take all the factors. So here we're going to take 2, we're going to take 3, this 3 as well, as well as this 5. So the LCM of 15 and 18 is going to be given by 2 times 3 times 3 times 5, which is equal to 90. And this is the same result as how we obtain the LCM by writing out all the multiples of 15 and 18. Again, this method can get quite tedious, especially if the powers of your prime factors are quite high, because then you'll be writing out all those lengthy expanded notation. So it's more efficient to work with this in index form. So 15 can be written as 3 times 5, and 18 is equal to 2 times 3 squared. So the rule is we identify the common prime factors, and then we're going to select the one with the highest power. So in this case, 3 is a common prime factor, and we're going to select 3 squared because that has got the higher power. And in addition, we need to take all the other prime factors as well. So we're going to also need to take the 2 as well as the 5. So using this, the LCM of 15 and 18 is given by 2 times 3 squared times 5, which is also equal to 90. We're now going to look at a few more examples on how to apply the rule to find the LCM given the prime factorization. For the first set, we've got 60 and 378. We can see that 2 is a common prime factor, and so is 3. Then we're going to select the one with the highest power. So 2 squared has got the higher power, and 3 cubed has got the higher power. And in addition, we also need to take the other factors, 5 and 7. So putting all these together, the LCM of 60 and 378 is equal to 2 squared times 3 cubed times 5 times 7, which is equal to 3,780. For our second set, we've got 1,050 and 6,930. Again, we're going to identify the common prime factors, which are 2, 3, 5, and 7. And once that's identified, we're going to select the one with the highest power. 2 and 2, they both have got the same power, so it doesn't matter. We can choose any one. I'm just going to choose the top one. 3 and 3 squared. 3 squared has got the higher power. 
5 squared and 5, 5 squared has got the higher power. 7 and 7, doesn't matter, they're the same, so just going to select 1. And we also have to take 11 as well. So again, putting all this together, the LCM of 1050 and 6930 is going to be given by 2 times 3 squared times 5 squared times 7 times 11, which when we put into the calculator, we get 34,650. And the last set, we've got 315, 60 and 120. Again, we're going to repeat the same process, identify the common prime factors. So here I've got 2, that's common, so is 3 and so is 5. And then we're going to go through and select the one with the highest power. So we've got here 2 cubed, 3 squared, 5s are all the same, just select one. And in addition, we also need to take 7 as well. So again, putting everything together, the LCM of 315, 60, 120 is equal to 2 cubed times 3 squared times 5, times 7, which computes to 2,520. Thanks again, guys, for watching this video. As always, we hope that you did learn something from it. If you have any suggestions or feedback, please feel free to comment below. We do release videos weekly. So in order to not miss out, make sure you click the subscribe button below. Until then, enjoy maths. We'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.